Dick Gasson, coming from the unit Gauss that was named after the mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss, with the unit describing the strength of a magnetic field, the Gaussian meaning lossing meaning the loss of a magnetic field that was gained through magnetization of electromagnetic field. In the context of CRT monitors, the Gaussian involves the reversal or eradication of unwanted permanent magnetic distortions that can accumulate within the CRT with time. As a CRT monitor operates, the interaction between the electron beam and extron magnetic fields can lead to magnetic imbalances, causing color inaccuracies and other display anomalies. These distortions are often referred to as magnetization, and even though the phosphor coating itself isn't magnetized, instead the electron beam's trajectory is influenced by external magnetic fields. The reason why we needed a dusting coil now and why this whole effect occurs is because depending on the CRT, either the shadow mask or etchergree have been permanently magnetized. The aperture grille is like a fence made of tiny wires placed behind the screen. When the TV wants to show a picture, it uses the electron beam to light up different parts of the screen. The wires in the aperture grille help guide these beams to the right spots on the screen. So the colors in the picture look nice and clear. Now, if a part of this aperture grille magnetized the electrons will slightly go into the wrong direction, resulting in a black spot or differing color. Same with the shadow mask is another way to make the colors on the screen. It's like a super thin sheet, lots of tiny holes in it. When the TV sends out the electron beams, they go through these holes and hit the right spots on the screen where the colors are. This makes sure that the colors stay where they're supposed to and don't mix up. This is one of these topics that is barely explained anywhere, so I just had to make a video about it. If, if you have any other topics like this, please let me know in the comments and have a fantastic day.